Hi, this is my uh, review video for a uh, handy little camera sold by Catern. So first of all, I'm just going to take a quick look at the camera itself. So it comes in a little box, neatly packed with a DVD for drivers, which you probably won't need if you've got a recent new PC. There's a little carrying case for the camera, which is quite handy to slip inside that. Uh, there is a charging lead. It's an A to Mini B, which is unusual these days, but there you are. So there's the cable with the connectors on the end of it. You get um, two sets of instru two instruction books. One of them is in foreign languages, and the other one is the English language book. So the English language book is separate, and this one is in French, German, various other languages. Uh, the type is reasonably good, reasonably easy to read, and the instructions seem pretty clear. So here's to the camera itself. It's quite small. Um, it's uh, got a nice big screen on the back. Uh, this um, little cover here is over the um, socket for the uh, for the charging and data lead, and then there's a little switch which pushes puts the lens into macro mode to take photographs much closer up. Uh, you have to push it all the way until it clicks to actually go into macro mode. Uh, then on the um, on the front of the camera, there's a flash and the lens, and there's also a little selfie mirror. And here we're looking at the other end. This is the door, and that slot is where the memory card goes. It takes an SD card uh, or a TF card in an adapter, which is what I'm putting in. And uh, it needs to be put in with the connections towards the back of the camera, if I remember correctly. I started putting it in the wrong way round, then I had to change it round. It will only go in the right way round, so that's fairly easy to do. And you slide the cover back into place. There's the, there's the uh, memory card and the battery, of course, is in there as well. Slide it back into place and clip it closed. Now on the back there's a screen. There's two little buttons. The two little buttons are for zooming in and out. And then beneath it there is a menu switch and various selector buttons which enable you to go through all the functions. There's a lot of functions on this camera to get to grips with. And uh, there's also a little um, lead. You push the... Uh, loop through there and then tie it and that is something you can hold the camera. It's quite a small loop. So this is a sample photograph taken indoors um, of a thing I wanted to take a photograph of. This is a macro photo taken of some flowers which I came across while out on a walk. This is another attempt at a macro photo and here is an overall photograph of the bush in question. This one is a shot of one of the local churches, just to show what you can do with the camera. And these are two from a sequence that were taken with the burst feature, which takes about, uh, I don't know, six photographs or something in quick succession. And here's just a little film clip looking around and up and down so you can see how the camera adjusts to things like changing light levels and so on. And I went up and had a look, and it's obviously it still worked quite well when there was a lot of sky in the shot, so that's quite good. This is a plus one exposure photograph because uh, there was a lot of white sky behind my wife, and this is just a selfie I took for a bit of fun. And here's another photograph I took at Wisley of a sculpture made up with various squash they'd grown there. And finally, here is a tree against the sky, and again, I used the plus one exposure feature on this one. So what's my conclusion then of this handy little camera? Well, it's not a quality camera for taking um, quality photos, but then at less than 30 quid, what do you expect? For what it's designed for, a children's fun camera? Yeah, it fills, it fills the bill. And for older users like myself, it's great for just capturing those little memories quickly and easily. And it's a bit better than some phone cameras. Here are just some of the functions the camera has, like the different scenes you can choose, uh, and then there's different resolutions you can choose, which is quite handy. And uh, here is the uh, face detect. I guess that focuses in on people's faces if you've got that selected. And smile capture. I've got no idea what smile capture is supposed to do, and the instructions don't say. Uh, but there you are. Continuous shot, which I mentioned earlier on in the review and uh, self-timer and there's loads and loads of other things the only thing you don't get which perhaps you could do with is a tripod mount